Hi, my name is Emmanuel and the purpose of this video is to show how easy it is to create an ERPS or Ethernet Ring Protocol switching over an MPLS TP network. Now, provided of course we use a takes care management system. Uh, here we're looking at a live network, a live network of six nodes which are interconnected in the form of a, of a ring and the, 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 the links are uh, fiber optic links. Now um, we go to the dashboard, we will open up our connection tab and the first thing we want to do is create a tunnel. So we're talking to MPLS here, so uh, we are talking about tunnels or label switch pads and pseudo wires. So in our tunnel wizard, we will uh, start off with a user friendly name. So well, we can call that main ring number one and select topology logical ring. Next, the first thing we're asked are the devices. So, uh, devices that we like to connect is node 100 and 200, and we will use these as our main ring. Second question here is the links. So uh, we obviously use the links that are interconnected or interconnecting these uh, uh, two nodes. We're asked for the owner device and neighbor device. These are two uh, typical um, ERPS uh, parameters, uh, and the link between these two devices will be uh, and standby. Uh, here we have an overview of what we've done. We click finish, close, and that's it. We have already created our first ERPS ring, an uh, Ethernet ring protection switching between 100 and 200. The next thing is, since we want to any to any connection, uh, and we're talking about ERPS version 2, we want to create a ladder network, or we want to make use of subrings. So we click again, plus of the tunnel. And this time we will call it a subring, uh, that subring one, and topology. Obviously, we select subring, right? So next, he will ask us uh, which uh, main ring would you like to connect to. Well, we'll use this one next, and he will ask us for the nodes. So we'll select 300 and 500, and we'll interconnect with the main ring via 100 and 200. Uh, Next, uh, the links, yep, there we go. Next, now he's asking us for owner and neighbor device, and we can uh, select uh, two devices, next. And here we have an overview, we finish, and we can close. All right, so we here, we have up here, we have our main ring. And down here we have our subring. Now let's create a second subring. Plus, next. So we call that subring number two. In the topology, we'll select subring again. Uh, again, connect to that main ring. And here we can see in the, in the overview that this is our main ring. This is our first subring. And now we'd like to uh, connect to uh, the other subring, right? So we do that, 900 and 1000, these are node numbers, and we connect via 300 and 500. Next, so he's asking us for the links, as you can see here. All right, so let's select these links. Now he's asking us for the uh, parameter owner device and neighbor device, so we'll ask, or we'll tell him that the link break should be between 300 and 900, you have an overview right here. We click finish. And this time we would like to load everything onto the network. So when we press load right now, everything we've done, domain ring, subring number one, sub subring number two, are all loaded inside uh, the physical nodes. Uh, bear with me for a little while. It will take a few seconds for the whole thing to load. But uh, as you can see, the progress bar is uh, going. Okay, and uh, we are done. So we have loaded this configuration in the network. Now let's have a look at our network tab. Let's click on our main ring here. And uh, here we have a view of our main ring. Now what's the interesting part of this monitoring tool here is that 
you were looking right now at node number 200 and 100, but you can actually see which port is being blocked, right? So the communication runs over this fiber fiber down here. And the same with the sub, no, subring. So uh, we'll look at the subring here. And here we can see that in this subring, port between 300 and 200 is blocked. And this other subring, we can see we can see the same right here. So this is very, very handy to see where traffic is sitting right now. Now, since we want any to any connection, we can click on that ring here and we see all the subrings. Uh, we want to create an Ethernet service. So we open up this wizard and we will create this, uh, we'll call that maybe a voice over IP. Uh, and we want any to any connection. So it's an Ethernet port based service. And uh, we just select in every node one port. All right, so this is what we do one port in every node. There we go. Next, uh, here we have VLAN settings, and we would like to use the rings for that. So we use the main ring, subring number one, and subring number two. Next, here we have our parameters in connection with the quality of service. We don't want to change that for the moment. Here we have all the settings and an overview. In other words, this is a traffic engineered network. So the ports of the policing and the qualifier uh, are all here. Next, we have our labels, finish, and we close. Let's now go back to our network. And here we, uh, of course, we can look at our rings, but at the same time, we can also look here at our any to any connection. So you can see that uh, these are all the ports, these are the nodes, and you see that they can all communicate with each other. All right, so that was uh, basically it. That's how to create an ERPS over an MPLS-TP network. Thank you.